Hi guys, ready for our second video about passive voice? This time we are going to deal with a structure which is quite common in English but we don't use it at all in Spanish and it's called causative structure. get it after the video. I'm going to give you some clues about its use and form and it will be easier for you to recognize it. First point, how do I form it? We use subject plus have or get plus someone or something plus past participle. Get is used in informal language rather than have. Let's share an example to understand it better. Imagine you are too lazy to wash your car and you take it to a car wash. And you say, I have my car washed every week. When somebody else does something for us is when we use this structure, the causative one. So it is mainly used for arrangements because we don't want to do it ourselves and we use a service to do it. So it's important to make a difference. Imagine I give you this example. Mr. cut her hair last night. I visualize her, I visualize my sister with scissors in hand and cutting her own hair. But instead, in English, if we say, my sister had her hair cut yesterday, then in these years, my sister has gone to the hairdressers. So it's just with a change of a structure, we imply that someone else has done it for us. In Spanish, what we say, a mi hermana le cortaron el pelo ayer. Here you have another example. Now that to have your nails done is so fashionable, if your friend goes to a nail salon, say, my best friend gets her nails done every two weeks. Causative structures can be used in any tense, so you need to conjugate have or get in the tense that you are required to. If you refer to the past, you would say, I had my eyes tested yesterday because you are short-sighted and you need to go to the optician. If you are a bit curious and you want to know if your friend has his or her tongue pierced, you ask him hard in present perfect. Have you ever had your tongue pierced? In the following chart, you can have a look at a few other examples with different tenses too. Once you have seen these examples, I would like to mention two other structures that are also used, but they are slightly different in form. If you use have plus someone plus infinitive without two, we arrange for someone to do something for us, or we make them do it. I would say that in a bossy style. It was so sad that bully had that kid give him his sandwich every break. Or we can also get someone plus two infinitive in more informal contexts. For instance, I got my friend to give me a lift home. I didn't feel like taking the bus. It means in Spanish, conseguí que mi amigo me llevara a casa, no me apetecía coger el autobús. Well, with all this information, I want you to show me how much you know about causative structure. That, I'm going to give you a pair of situations and you have to rephrase them using have or get something done. First go. After the storm, they are repairing the roof at the moment, starting with they, what would you say? Think about it. They are having their roof repaired at the moment. Nice yes. girl, congratulations. With this example, the last one you are implying that some workers are repairing the roof for the family, for them. Second girl, a doctor took out her tonsils and henas when she was six. 
you say starting with she? Because as you can imply in the example, we say her tonsils. So we need to start by she. Think about it. Did you say she had her tonsils taken out when she was six? <laughs> As a short summary, we can say that we use this structure to talk about arranging for things to be done for us by others. Time to go. I hope the causative structure won't be a mystery for you anymore. Keep posted with our videos Aprendo en Casa. I have to admit that they can be addictive. Bueno, la teacher los espera en los próximos videos. Take care. Thank you.